So let's go ahead and pay the bills. Pay the bills. Pay the bills. Uh, and how do we do that? So we turn around and we go to um, our expense cycle or our procurement cycle. And we can go to vendors and simply uh, make a payment for each one of those. Or technically, you should be able to go to expenses and see all the bills that are in here. But uh, after so many days, they pretty much become um, uh, filtered out. So I should have just gone back to, let's say, if we wanted to see them all, then we could have said, let's apply this. So this would be the typical way you would see all the expenses, or you could see every bill by vendor. Um, so I could just click on all of them and make a one payment. But in this case, since they're going to different vendors, let's do one at a time. So let's start with bill number one, which was to uh, for rent or lease. So let's make a payment. And we're making a payment right away. And this was supposed to be on the due date. The due date was 2-1-2018. Do not make that mistake of putting 2019 as your date. Otherwise, it's not going to show in the, on the financial statement. So this is 2-1-2018. It's coming out of my main checking. Um, what is the check number? We could create that check number uh, and then just save a new. Right. Let's do a payment for our second bill. You see that there's a payment right here, so I can add it. And if I had more than one bill from the same vendor, they would all show on the side, and then I could open them, or I could just add them. And notice that it shows me which date they're supposed to be due. So in this case, these are supposed to be due on 4-4-2018, and that is for 100000 Wow, I'm going to, I don't even have the money. Um, but I'll just go ahead and issue the check and I'm going to report my income pretty quickly here. So let me just go ahead and issue the check and I could print the check later or I can just do the check number. Let me see if I ask you for check numbers. No, there's no check number in there. So let's go ahead and just record the payment. And then for the third vendor, I am going to pay for those $5,000. That were due on 6 4 2018 so let me grab the due date and make make it the same as my payment date it doesn't like the spaces right uh, again all of this is coming from my main checking and notice that the balance is going to show me uh, a negative balance as of right now that's for five thousand five thousand and that's it i can save and close and i am done paying my vendors your bills.